you. Good morning. Um, yes, um, last five months I worked on a waste plan of Amsterdam. It's not um, uh, already accepted by uh, the local government, so it's a plan. Um, so, uh, but I, I will, I will, uh, I will share it with you. There was a coalition agreement of the local government um, and it says we are going to use our waste, not as we usually did, but we will use it as a material so that we can make new products of it. And that was a revolution in Amsterdam because uh, the waste in Amsterdam, uh, well, we, um, uh, that was about um, 250,000 tons. And most of it, we incinerate it. So they will give it a waste a second life or a third life. That was the start of a new uh, waste management system. We, we had three goals. Sustainability, we have to separate our waste 65%. And now it is 27. So we have to work. Uh, the next four years and the service we will give the Amsterdam the opportunity to get rid of this separate waste very easily so that the municipality easily collect that waste so Amsterdam facilitate and the Amsterdammer will be inspired by the thought of the idea that waste is not just waste but a material for a new product well if you need know how the Amsterdammer is, you know how difficult it is that we are going to, uh, well, uh, we will uh, communicate this very carefully. The cost efficiency, we have to do this very efficient. So we um, get no new money for it, but we have to uh, do it uh, like this. Uh, we have to um, make some uh, efficiency in the whole chain and the efficiency that money we can use for the innovation uh, so that we can separate with 65 uh, waste percentage well this is the city of Amsterdam the people the number of the people the households and this is, these are the houses uh, 27 uh, on every 100 uh, people has a car, so it's very difficult to ask on a, to an Amsterdammer that he bring his uh, big waste to, to our spe special uh, waste points. Six, uh, 95 percent is underground containers and 5 percent above the ground. In Amsterdam, we have 11,000 underground containers. We have 141 trucks to uh, transport our waste. <laughs> this is also almost waste. <laughs> uh, 88% is is is. Uh, um, well, buildings uh, are uh, high uh, and not uh, with, a, with a garden with it. So it's a very uh, difficult city to, to, uh, for waste management because uh, the most um, houses are not more than 70 to 80 uh, square meters. So that we can we cannot ask uh, every Amsterdammer to have uh, five or six uh, big bins to to uh, to um, separate their waste. Now, what are we going to throw away? Uh, a lot. We uh, we searched this, um, and you see that uh, 317 kilos waste per citizen per year 
and um, 73 of the waste with we incinerated and only this waste uh, it's 27 percent of the total waste we we separate it we, we can separate it and we can use it for another life but this is all going into the big oven we say uh, it's AAB it's energy <coughs> in um, Amsterdam and it's 21,7 kilos of plastics every Amsterdam throws that per year away. 14 kilos textile, glass, well, lilac, what is lilac? Napkins. Napkins. Napkins, 21 kilos napkins. So there's a lot. And 79 kilos uh, um, yes, uh, 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 bio, uh, bio waste. So that's a lot. Now, what do we got? And uh, also uh, 80 of uh, uh, 38 kilos paper. And all those materials, that is not waste, but it's uh, it's material. It's it's. You can use it for a new life. So what are we going to do about it to separate that? Give we the Amsterdammer <laughs> about 40 bits. Well, uh, that is not uh, our goal. This is what we are going to do. Uh, we make an, the Amsterdammer happy because we are going to put a lot of uh, underground containers, not like this, it's the reality, every day. Yeah. But we uh, will build a lot of uh, waste islands, so uh, the islands, you can put their glass, and the paper, and the plastics, and the textile separately. And they are going to help us. But how do we organize it? Everything, uh, everything is changing also in uh, uh, Amsterdam. And as naturalness stops to be natural as it always was, then you have to think about the future. How can we do that? So if you don't have a plan for yourself, you become a part of the plan of another one. So what's our plan? Uh, I am a fan of Simon Sinek. I don't know if you know him, but he starts always the problems with the why. Why should we do it? We know what it is, we know how it is, but why are we going to do this? Well, Amsterdam is much more beautiful when it's clean and sustainable. And that's our why. So, we are going to uh, linear, from linear, we dig and produce and use and put it away to the return economy of the circular economy that everyone who uses someone it is not waste but it is a material for a new product and that is that is our reason why well then we have to make choices for Amsterdam we have to make a choice or we give uh, uh, we make a lot of underground containers with uh, waste or we make a lot of containers where you can put your paper and plastics and textile and your glass and in our plan we will give this priority so the people in Amsterdam that's our proposal will um, uh, have to walk further to, uh, to, to to put the waste away instead of this uh, um, kind of material. So uh, we are going to build a lot of this uh, uh, this kind of islands that the, uh, the people are um, um, 
throwing the, the material where we, where we can make a new uh, material off. Uh, well, uh, it's clear, I suppose. So, um, we searched how, how far you can walk, or how far do we have to walk, for the next container, uh, and the rest of all, we, we say, well, you have to walk uh, maximally 120 meters, and 100, 100 meters for this kind of underground container. So, we hope that the people are going to throw away, not waste, but the other parts of Invest in post-separation. Uh, if we don't do that, we can't uh, get our goal from 65%. But if we do that, we can separate uh, plastics, uh, uh, tins, and uh, uh, drankschappenpakking. <laughs> well, uh, where? Uh, <laughs> Where the, where the milk it is and the shoot it all and so on. <laughs> Melts off the fire. So when we take this out of the out out, uh, out of the waste, in the post post separation, we uh, we can uh, get our goal. And then uh, biodegradable waste. When we have the post-separation, we get a lot of um, uh, biodegradable waste, and we will, um, uh, how do we call it? Um, and then we can, uh, we can fermentate it. And from the fermentation, we can make green grass, green gas. So that's, that's the choices we are going to make. And prevention, of, of course, uh, we have to talk with uh, uh, the people who, who uh, do the packaging, because the packaging, yeah, why sh would we make packaging when we just throw it away? So uh, we have to talk with the people who, who uh, the prevention so that there, there is less uh, waste in our total waste. Well, the source separation, we optimize, uh, optimize the, uh, uh, the, the uh, underground containers for plastics and uh, paper and uh, uh, glass and textile. And we reduce the uh, services on waste, so the waste for incineration. And the post-separation, the post well, uh, also uh, PMD, that is uh, plastics, metal, and uh, the of the packing, and paper. And then we can uh, fermentize the organic uh, fraction. <coughs> well, the help, this is a, a sort of a, a summary of the total waste plan of Amsterdam. Um, this is the area where you can uh, make your, or, uh, you can do your uh, daily boodschappen. Uh, 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 Shopping. Shopping. And our uh, services on the street, we are going to look at it, that we, we will uh, put, build more of this kind of these islands. And these islands are far more easily to, uh, to, 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 to find than the uh, waste container. <coughs> well, this is the service in-house and on the street, and we have a logistic and te technology how we can uh, um, 
uh, get the, the, the waste out of the uh, uh, in, uh, underground containers. And in every container we build in a sensor, and when it is 80% full, and the sensor set is 80% full, it, 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 it sends it to our sensor computer, and uh, between 2 and 3 o'clock in uh, the night, we get all those da data, and um, with those data, he, the, the computer makes a very simple route. That route, um, he sends it to the board computer of a, a truck, and when the chauffeur is going into the truck, he sees what kind of route he has to make. Mm -hmm. So we have less uh, movements with the cars, and we only uh, get the 80% full containers. So we hope that we uh, can um, uh, get an efficiency of it. Well, then the, 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 the cars go to the uh, incineration, or the separation. So. Uh, this is the whole chain. We uh, thought of what we are going to do with the uh, waste of Amsterdam. 80% of, of this plan will be over all the, uh, the city of Amsterdam, with 20% uh, there is uh, a possibility for local uh, uh, waste management, for uh, for instance, uh, for uh, for the garden, uh, that we uh, ask the people what you are going to do with the garden uh, waste. Uh, is it possible to um, uh, do something in uh, the neighborhood itself with the, with that waste? Well, uh, we are now standing, this is a separation percentage, we are now sitting here, 25-7 of all the waste is separated. <laughs> well, we <laughs> this is uh, what we are going to do with the uh, uh, Okay. Post-separation, uh, we get 8.4% 8, 8 of post-separation, uh, <coughs> but the fermentation is 95%. Is and then the green, grass, the green gas is also 5%. So we hope that we uh, have a... Uh, we can grow the, per, uh, the percentage of the source separation, but the uh, post-separation, we, we, we get the rest of it. So that's the plan for Amsterdam, and we hope that uh, the city council will accord it, so the, that we can uh, that we so that we can aim our goals. Thank <laughs> you.